Sutton kicked off November with a long trip up north to take on Barrow. Sutton were without a win in eight games and were looking to break that streak against the tough Barrow side, who were looking on closing in on the league's top spot. Sutton had been on top the majority of the game, frustrating the Barrow attack, forcing them to long-range efforts and crosses into the box. One of these eventually paid off for them, as Josh Kay's cross into the box beat the used defence and fooled the keeper as the ball hit the back of the net, making it 1-0 to the Bluebirds. Sutton was still on the attack and almost drew level when Kenny Davis's long-range attempt went just over the goal. The final whistle blew, ending the game 1-0. The relief could be seen on the home fans and players alike. Barrow had to work hard for those three points. The U's took a break from league action as they kicked off their Surrey Senior Cup campaign with a home tie against Hawley Town. Out wide towards Wayne Brown, will he take the opportunity first time? Yes he does! And it's a lovely goal by the returning Wayne Brown! Timmy Peralta looking for Jarvis, Jarvis Chesley Danny stay on side and scores a brilliant goal! Lovely finish there by Aaron Jarvis! You can't. I like his certainty. Nice header! Oh, it's off the line of the keeper! And it's there! He's finally scored! Tommy Wright! It's it's not the best goal, but it, they all count! Now coming forward again, I think there's going to be three minutes of running time, actually. Nice tackle there, and uh, that is the three minutes. Sutton have won the game. 3-0. Sutton had been on a bad run of form, and looked to improve their squad with two new signings bringing in goalkeeper Nick Zanef on loan from AFC Wimbledon and a familiar face to Sutton fans, defender Louis John from Cambridge United, also on loan. Firstly, Louis, welcome back to Sutton. How does it feel uh, being back here at Gandhi Green Lane? Yeah, it feels good to be back. Um, yeah, I had good times here before in the past. Um, it's a club that I learned my trade really and gave me the opportunity to, to push on. Um, and fortunately, they've given me another opportunity to to try and get back to what it should be. Both the new signings were thrown straight into the action as Sutton travelled down to the south coast to take on Torquay United. Naiote, good save. Referee awards a free kick to Sutton. Naiote with the effort and Zanef responds with a decent save. Kundi with the uh, slice clearance. Ajiboy. Ajiboy breaks away. And Ajiboy opens the scoring. Gets lucky with the ricochet. But when he's eye to eye with the goalkeeper, no hesitation. Torquay nil. Sutton 1. Trying to thread the ball forward for Omar. Reed picks it up. Winter making a run to his right. Can he pick him out? He does do so. Winter! Fine run by the right fullback. And that's the equaliser. Eastman with a header. And once again, Omar was there first. But Lucas Kovalan reflex save down to his right hand side. Goes straight through. Beauty man! And that's the second goal. And it's Harry Butiman, leading goal scorer for Sutton this season. It was Nick Zanef with the free kick, and it went straight through to Harry Butiman. Beautiful finish. Clearance goes only as far as Lubombo. Kundi, Bruce, not far away, and there goes the full-time whistle and a famous three points for Sutton United, their first away win since mid-August and their first win in the National League since they beat Chesterfield at the famous Gander Green Lane by four goals to nil, Torquay United won. Sutton United 2. Mid-November, Sutton came to terms with defender Dan Matuzaka's release from the club. Matuzaka went on to re-sign with former club Braintree Town. It's a 
Zhanev has got a good chance for de for de to deal with. And dipped over the wall, Tanev has to do a good job there. And he two saves, but it wasn't enough in the end. Billy Bingham slams in. It was slammed in from close range there. Bit down and away. Davis into Reed. Reed lifts it in. And Huda. Only as far as Beatman falls the jump blocked. Great work there from Bromley putting their bodies on the line for the U's. And Boigle picks out Ajiboy. Ajiboy's on. This is a big opportunity for Sutton. David Ajiboy. Can he find the right option? Oh, what a chance. Ball towards Boigle. Wasn't successful. Collins lets the ball run under his foot. Cheeks one on one. And Bromley look like now they have sealed all three points. And the weather matches the mood here at Gander Green Lane. Hood up. His kick up field sees this game off now. Referee's blown his whistle and Bromley walk away with another crucial three points in their promotion push. Following a Derby Day defeat, Sutton travelled to East London for a Tuesday night game against Dagenham and Redbridge. Sutton were keen to get off to a good start and 10 minutes in, Tommy Wright got on the end of a long ball and saw his shot from a tight angle go just wide of the goal. It wasn't all one-way traffic, however, as Zanna was tested from point-blank range, which he was able to deal with, and saw the ball cleared out of danger. In the second half, the Daggers came flying out of the traps, and after a lovely bit of one-two play, a low cross into the box found Mitch Brundle, who converted from close range, making it 1-0 to the East London side. This didn't dent Sutton's confidence, however, as they continued to attack, and after a long ball from Zanef found its way to Eastman in the box, the score was level at 1-1. Not long after that, Sutton were on the attack again, and after a quick piece of 1-2 play, striker Tommy Wright had a sight at goal and took his chance, finishing off the comeback and making it 2-1 to the U's. Sutton ended the month with a home game against Harrogate Town, where the U's look to win two on the bounce for the first time this season. Bigal header to right. Right. Gets to Carl Reed. Reed. Cross. Bumen header. Bumen header. Bigal. Oh. Punched away by Belshaw. Danger shot cleared. Shoved on. Bugal, no foul. Right going for a shot. Oh. Off to see Eastman. Eastman. Looking for a cross. Bewyman! 1 0 Sutton United! The top goal scorer has done it again! Harry Bewyman! Will be Bewyman coming in. Still in. Still in. Oh, just must have been headed away. Let's not have a corner. Oh, well in there by Ben White. In towards Tommy right now. He just managed to keep a hold of the ball now. Into Adjiboy. Inside right. Adjiboy driving at the defence, can he make it? Adjiboy! Oh, it's off the line! Adjiboy had a great run, but it's clear off the line with a Harrogate defender. Wide. Looking for Bugle at the back post. Tries to fight to it right there and knock down. Here's Adjiboy. Adjiboy cuts on his left foot. Blow at Tommy right now. Oh. A good chance there again by Sutton. Looking for the second goal. Harrogate looking for a long ball once again towards doing some flick on. Oh, and it's a mistake here. He's gone around the goalkeeper and it's 1 1. Harrogate have equalised here again the green lane. And the ball won back by Adjaboy. Connor Wright having a shot. Connor Wright is a wonderful goal. Connor Wright for 25 yards. Thought, why not? Let me have a bang. And he's put it right past the goalkeeper into the right hand side. Kind of out of nothing here at Ganagri, and the whole stadium has woken up. Nothing more than Sutton have deserved so far in the second half. They had a chance, they had a chance, but they wasted it. Harry Green managed to get it. Got back. Connor Wright has shown everyone what they've been missing here at Ganagri Lane. Trying to shoot their team onto a victory here. Eastman goes up to the head and wins it in. Tommy Wright will chase the ball here now. Tommy Wright. 
Not much support up there with him. He's had to slow down. Tony Wright is crossing inside. Cameron shoots. Goal! Tony Wright with his second of the game. A wonderful header won by Eastman originally in Central Park. has put Tony Wright straight through. There's three defenders around him. Wright slows the ball down. Get it back onto his right foot and put a wonderful cut and effort into the bottom corner. Sutton United 3, Harrogate 1. Just over three minutes left here. Three points are surely in the bag. And the referee has blown his final whistle to the light of all the Sutton fans here. It's finished 3 1 here at Gander Green Lane. All whites last today, Matt. Two wins on the trot for the first time this season and thoroughly deserved. Must be delighted. Yeah, certainly, Anthony. You know, an all round top performance. Once we, I thought once we got the first goal, you know, for the first half an hour, I wasn't overly happy. I didn't think we, we, we would play great. I didn't think we started the game well. Harrogate had a little spell. I felt they were on top, uh, but without really hurting us or creating anything. Um, but as soon as we got the goal, I thought from then on, um, and the second half was, was outstanding. Took our chances and thoroughly deserved the win. Sutton had climbed out of the relegation zone by the end of the month, sitting in 20th place with 25 points. There were new leaders at the top of the table, with Barrow leading the way on 44 points, whilst at the other end, Wrexham were in last place on 20 points. <laughs>